Home, a miraculous ladybug fanfiction written and narrated by Mira Rose. Artwork by XAA. You can find a link to the artist in the description box below. If you haven't already, please enjoy the other 48 parts of this story, as this is chapter 49, and I'm not quite sure how you ended up here if you haven't listened to the others, unless if you're just trying to, like, skip to the middle or the end because you don't have the patience for a full story. I don't know. People do that sometimes. Anyway, if you haven't already, go ahead and smash that like button and leave a comment in the comment section. If you don't know what to comment, put Broke Adrian. Now then, please enjoy Home, Chapter 49. Marinette Dupang Chang as Ladybug. As it turns out, Cat Noir had, in fact, gotten a private plane to take him, her, and the rest of the Miraculous crew to the Tibetan Mountains. She didn't have the heart to tell him they could have used the Horse Miraculous instead, but packed it nonetheless. It's not as though she was going to leave the box she was literally called Guardian to Guard behind, even if they did have their arch nemesis in custody. So, even though she hoped this wouldn't be a long trip, Ladybug detransformed, got dressed, and packed a bag in the comfort of her own bedroom before returning to the studio apartment. Grateful Tiki took the time to chat while she did so. But, as last time, Ladybug was wildly unprepared for her trip to the apartment. She walked in to Rena Rouge sighing and pointing to the bathroom, wherein she found Cat Noir curled into a ball and wrapped in the blanket she crocheted for him last Christmas. You okay, bud? she asked, crouching down beside him, careful not to touch. I forgot about the horse miraculous, Cat muttered. How many favors before you realized that? I... Blew my savings, I'll be. Oh. How against it would your parents be if I tried moving in with them? Uh, Tom likes me, right? I can sleep behind the oven. I don't need much space. She knew he was trying to make her laugh in the light of a bad situation. You silly old cat. She peeled back the blanket enough to reveal his mop of hair, tussling it herself. It's been nearly 24 hours. Did you know that? And he still hasn't used the bathroom? Ladybug wrinkled her nose. I know, right? Cat laughed, taken off guard by her response but rolling with it. Seriously? I'll leave it up to you. Ladybug said, changing the subject. Would you like to take your favor plane or use the miraculous? Miraculous. Ten times out of ten, he answered without hesitating. Oh, thank! She heard from outside the room. Rena Rouge had clearly listened in, but someone covered her mouth as she exclaimed. Well then, we best be going. Ladybug said, pushing her thighs as she stood up. Yeah. Cat reached for her hand. You sure you're up for this? She asked, knowing her voice was dripping with empathy in the worst way. Yeah. Hasn't hit me yet. Okay. His answer didn't make her feel any better, but she'd rather have him beside her than not. This way, she could make sure that if he did break down, it was by her side. Well, I guess it's time for me to use the horse, Miraculous. Why not get Max in on this? Nah, not because I'm some voice actor who doesn't want to do yet another voice with an already abundant cast in the next part, but because I want to hurry up and take care of this, you know? Skipping the details, Ladybug used the horse, Miraculous, and after a quick snack for Kaiki, stood at the base of the Tibetan mountain where the guardians trained. 
couldn't you, like, have gotten us a little closer? Queen Bee spat, still sipping from her Starbucks tumbler. How had she made it last so long? There's some kind of force blocking me, Ladybug sighed, looking at the staircase in front of them. The long, long staircase that was something out of a martial arts cliché. She felt like Poe from Kung Fu Panda trying to sell noodles, and she hadn't even started. If you even think I'm going to willingly climb to my own, Gabriel began, stopping short when Cat Noir picked him up and flung him over his shoulder. Get comfy, Hawk Daddy, he said. Will you kids stop calling me that? Get off my lawn, Cat Noir said, imitating his grumpiness. Ladybug sent him a worried glance, and he returned it with a shrug. He couldn't possibly be this okay. But the cat she knew wasn't this good of an actor. So what on earth was going on? She hadn't taken psychology, but surely a therapist could explain this. Hopefully, at least. The rest of the group laughed, and Ladybug noted Viperion subtly activating his power. Good. He always seemed one step ahead. She hoped they wouldn't have to use it. But even though Gabriel was taken care of, albeit struggling, she turned an eye to Natalie. Even though her partners, or even herself, could take her up these stairs, she worried the constant jostling would worsen her condition. It would be best to leave her here, guarded, and let the monks attend to her. Queen Bee, Rena Rouge, your... Ladybug began. Ah, no. Bad idea. Sorry, Queen Bee, Carapace, and Viperion, you stay here with Natalie. Cat, Rena Rouge, and myself will climb the stairs with Gabriel. Roger that, Rena said. You're leaving me on babysitting duty? Queen Bee questioned. Chloe, Ladybug said stepping forward and taking her hands. This is one of the most important jobs I've asked of anyone. I'm trusting you with this. The words were cliche, but they worked. Fine, if you insist, I guess, she mused, mouth puckered at the implied compliment. Well played, Kat said as they began their ascent. Gabe decided to be a deadweight, so Cat and Rena teamed up to carry him like a roast, one holding him by the feet and the other at the shoulders as he wore an ever-persistent frown. Sighing, Ladybug nodded and kept walking, grateful the suit alleviated a lot of the oncoming physical weariness. They were in for a long climb. One foot in front of the other, Ladybug. You're almost there. You're almost to the end. Thank you so much for listening. Chapter 50 is on the way. In the meantime, you can check out other Miraculous Ladybug fanfictions on this channel for more videos. And don't forget to leave a like and a comment to support the YouTube algorithm. If you don't know what to comment, put you're almost there, Ladybug. I will catch you in the next one. Bye!